Understanding the Snow Line, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English learning channel. In today's video, we're going to explore a fascinating geographical and climatic term, snow line. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what the snow line is and how to use this phrase in a sentence. So, let's dive in and learn something new today. The term, snow line, refers to the boundary on a mountain or in a region above which snow remains throughout the year. Essentially, it's the altitude or latitude where snow persists on the ground, no matter the season. The snow line varies depending on various factors, such as the geographical location, climate conditions, and time of the year. 2.1 Geographical Location The snow line is higher near the equator and lower as you move towards the poles. This is because temperatures generally decrease with distance from the equator, creating colder climates that allow snow to persist at lower altitudes. 2.2 Climate Conditions Climate conditions play a crucial role in determining the snow line. In regions with wetter climates, the snow line tends to be lower because more precipitation falls as snow. On the other hand, in drier regions, the snow line is higher due to less snowfall. 2.3 Time of the Year The snow line isn't static, it changes with the seasons. During winter, the snow line descends to lower altitudes because of increased snowfall and colder temperatures. In contrast, during the summer, the snow line ascends as temperatures rise and snow melts. Understanding the snow line is crucial for various reasons. It helps in planning mountain climbing expeditions, as climbers need to be prepared for snow-covered terrains. Additionally, it aids in environmental research, as scientists study the snow line to monitor climate change and its effects on mountain ecosystems. Now that we understand what the snow line is and its influencing factors, let's see how to use this phrase in sentences. The snow line on this mountain descends to 2,000 meters above sea level during winter. Due to climate change, the snow line in some regions is rising, affecting the local wildlife. When planning our hike, we need to consider the location of the snow line to ensure we have the necessary equipment. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide on the term, snow line. We hope this video has helped clarify what the snow line is and how it varies depending on different factors. Remember, understanding terms like these can significantly enrich your English vocabulary and help you communicate more effectively, especially on topics related to geography and climate. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more English learning content. See you in the next video.